Welcome back everyone! This video we are going to be talking about the unary plus and the unary minus operator. Now before you close out of this video, just hold up, okay? These are different than the binary arithmetic operators we talked about in the previous video. Yes, there was a plus and minus in those operators, but these ones are not the same thing. So to illustrate this, we are going to create a new file. Alright, so to illustrate my point for this video, we are going to need two variables to start with, and then we are going to do some calculations with those variables. The data type for these are going to be integers. The first one is going to be int money, and we'll set that equal to 25. The next will be a bill, and we'll set that equal to 15. So a bill is just an expense. So after we pay the bill, we should have $10 left. You could just as well use double for your data types, but I'm going to be using int in this case just because I think working with ints is a little bit simpler. What we want to do though is calculate the total after we pay our bill. So we're going to make that int total and we're going to set that equal to money minus bill. So this is essentially 25 minus 15 and that's going to equal 10. But what if we change this a little bit? You know, I, I like to mess with stuff. You know, I like to mess things up. And you know what? When I get bills, I go to the bill company and I'm like, yo, you're going to pay me this money, right? So if I got a bill for 70 bucks, I basically just got paid 70 bucks. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, j just follow along, right? <laughs> I ain't paying no bill. So I am going to make this a negative bill. <laughs> now what we have is no longer 25 minus 15, we have 25 minus negative 15, which if you're any good at math, you should know that that is the same thing as 25 plus 15. I know this is a pretty dumb example, but I can only think of so many examples, so you're just gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> so let's print this just to make sure that everything is working as expected. And the output is 40, just like I like it. Ain't no one gonna give me no bills. Gosh. Let's go back in our code because I actually, I need to repent. I apologize. This is not really <laughs> how I go in and pay my bills. In fact, I think it's an honorable act to pay your bills because you are the one who has acquired the bill. <laughs> but for illustration's sake, let's just go with this. One thing I need to make crystal clear to you though is that when you do this, you are not changing the bill the bill itself stays the same. So what I mean is that if we go in here and we add another printf statement, you could put them together, but sometimes it's clear just to have two. And what we want to print now is the bill. Let's print it. You can see that the value is still 15, not negative 15. What this shows us is that operators do not always change the value of the variable. Sometimes they do, but not in this case. Arithmetic operators don't change the value either. For example, if I did something like x plus y, after this addition is done, x and y still have the same exact value. As we get into some more advanced operators, there are some that do change the value of the variables. And once we get to those, that'll make a little bit more sense. All you need to know now is that these operators are changing the expression. So if we go back in our code, we are changing this expression right here. The value of the variables kind of just get plugged in. Like I said, the value of money is 25. We're subtracting negative bill. Bill itself is 15. So yeah, guys, that is how you use the unary minus operator. But what about the unary plus operator? Well, it's kind of useless to begin with. <laughs> I'm not really going to talk about it. It's kind of like in math, if you did something like 25 plus positive 15, the positive there is redundant. It's just assumed. It works the same way in C. There are some uses for the unary plus operator, but they are beyond the scope of this series. If you want to learn more about them, I would encourage you to look them up, specifically the unary plus operator. That will help you expand your knowledge and understanding of C programming. So that's all I got for you in this video. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.